All you Canadians out there that are watching this right now, don't be upset with Justine Kish because she defeated Randa Marcos a while ago. Talk about that fight that basically had both you guys on everyone's radar to get onto this show. Uh, um, well, uh, we were just talking about that fight today and how close it was. And um, again, I, we both did our best. And I believe that turnaround that Randa did, like with getting that arm bar almost, I told her today, I was like, Randa, I took a chance. I was like, I felt a problem, but as soon as like, I'm either going to have an arm or I'm not. And she was like, well, it was an awesome escape. And so we were just talking about that today. And uh, I know she's a wonderful, great opponent. So uh, no matter who she goes against, I think she's going to do a great job. And um, hopefully the same thing for me, of course. <laughs> well, you guys both finally made it onto the show. How yeah. exciting is that? We are... I mean, we're taking everything in, so like, sorry if I'm a little shocked still, but everything is so new, the house, the gym, and oh my gosh, it's just an amazing experience right now, and it's a little bit overwhelming, though. It's trying to take everything in and appreciate everything as well. Your life will be a fishbowl for six weeks, trapped in there. You may get access to the outside world, but I'm sure it's not going yeah. to be easy. Have you received any tips from other people that have been on the show to say, listen, this is what you need to prepare for because your mind will start going in different places? Well, I already know that I'm not going to have as much control as I typically do for my uh, regular training schedule. But um, I believe if you uh, arrive uh, knowing that there are so many unknowns and how much, how much you can or can't control, then I think that that helps a lot. So again, I came, in, I came into this with that expectation. So I keep the expectations low, but with that expectation. If that's that's the, <laughs> yes, that's the right mindset. But for those that have never seen you compete, what yeah. type of style do you bring to the cage? Um, I was in Muay Thai. I love Muay Thai. It's my passion. I love uh, training between the ropes, competing between the ropes. But I love competing anyways, whether it's MMA, boxing, kickboxing. I love the sport, the, everything about it. The, the ground, the stand-up. It's just... Um, you know, it's very challenging, no matter how, how experienced you are. It's, there's always something new and to improve on, I believe. And there's a connection to the Black House, am I correct? Yes, that's my, as soon as I won my, world my first world title in Muay Thai, I uh, was offered a position at Black House MMA to train and to, keep, and to compete in MMA. And I was like, oh my God, let's do that. And I, actually, the funny story is I was about to do a, um, to teach in Europe Muay Thai and uh, to teach there again in a few different places. But then I was like, I got this opportunity for Black House. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it. And... Uh, it's been, a, you know, it was a wonderful decision, and it, yeah, I love the, the camp there, and again to see the amazing athletes in and out of there, it's really the place to be in the proper place, you know, the right place to surround yourself. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. There she is, Justin Kish, competing on the Ultimate Fighter 20.